There's no hopeless life as a person, as a man, who is quarreling with his own father and his own mother. You go to witch doctors when your things are not moving well and you think that they've bewitched you. I want to tell you today the biggest witchcraft is relationships that are not fixed between you and your parents. There's nothing wrong with you going back to your mother's house and clean up the graves of your own fathers. There's nothing wrong. I didn't say worship them. Clean them up. In my tribe, there's a proverb that says, never allow your son to marry a girl when you have not seen the grandfather's graves. Where the grandfathers are buried. This represents our history. The roots support the tree. The tree does not support the roots. If you water your roots, you will have fruits. That is the Bible. Honor your father and your mother. The only commandment that has an insurance policy. And your days will be many that the Lord will give you. Prayer does not substitute personal responsibility at a family level. I challenge this church to its roots. We cannot have members who are easily convinced that they must return 10% of their salaries as tithe and offerings, yet they are sending 200 rand to their own mothers and fathers. You are worse than pagans. Your responsibility to the church cannot be more than your responsibility to your own family. Because you want to bribe God and bribe angels so that you enter heaven. How can you say you love God whom you have never seen when you hate the parents who have brought you into existence? If your religion makes you look after it more than your own parents, the Bible calls you a non-believer, worse than a pagan. Go and read for yourself. We are going to fuck stop order. Do you have a stop order to your mother? You want to pay tithes so that you have an office in the church, is it? True African spirit says, take your responsibility seriously. That is first bus stop before you run the church. This is the reason why I sometimes say, if we are not careful, we are going to develop a cult. What is a cult? A cult is that which takes human beings away from their families and creates an artificial family somewhere called Adventism. All of a sudden, your parents are demons. Those who don't believe in you in Adventism have become Satan. We are not Adventism. We Adventists. We Adventists. We Adventists. Before you notice it, David Koresh came out of that ideology. Fascist. You keep on driving that agenda. You end up in the midst of nowhere where you can no longer recognize your own family for the sake of the church. That cannot be African. Africans will start at home. And what religion is it that will make you divorce your own parents? Trees. You water. Hello? You water your trees. Whether Uba about Tengi Kuba, Afage Makaleni, water that tree. Whether your mother is a Sangoma or Takati or a witch doctor, water that tree. God is not a fool. This is the door through which you came into existence. The prayers of your parents are far much more important than the prayers of your pastors. When your parents wish you well, it will be well with you. When your mother goes nah on you, go and try. Go and try. Make deals. You'll come back home with pockets that have holes. Why? Because when you don't secure your roots, you can never have fruits on the top side. Fruits we eat. Enjoy life, guys. Don't be too tight. Only to end up in the grave. Come and join me. Let's ride bikes. Let's have fun. Enjoy life in the days of your youth. Before the days of evil. Come nigh when you shall say, I have no pleasure in them. This one is directed to Pastor Nguemba, who was heard publicly calling me a lunatic. <laughs> I, I want to challenge him and say, you must come to Bikerville now. Let me see. Let me see. If you thought I was a lunatic, now you come. I'll put on my, ha my Haley and let's see what we can do on the freeways. But that's for another day. We come a long way.
enjoy life, enjoy life. Fruits must be enjoyed. Amen. Fruits must be. Enjoyed. If you not read your Bibles, enjoy your life with the wife that God has given you, for this is your portion. Amen. Be enjoyed. Ha. Huh. Colisa. Colisa. Hey, fun, have fun. Enjoy yourself. Hallelujah. Someone say amen out there. Yeah. Ukum challenge on Goskazu, Agugu, 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 Kumlang, and Bonudi, Ingomazam Zipila. Amen. I look all over you, Kishamalek, Kishiban, get fucked, Kishiban, Tatim Gugu, get food. How, how, how? Can't win to one again, win to one. What's happening in here? Enjoy life. Hallelujah. Someone say amen out there. Enjoy la lela la lela. Some of you guys will try to look holy here. We these phones, if the Lord will give me power to say collect these phones, the things I'll find on these phones and pictures and videos, heaven will collapse. You may as well enjoy it at home. Someone say amen out there. Enjoy life. Enjoy the fruits. Man and king after the convention. Into the slums, the Asabenza, there's a sin to the Asabenza Nas. Into the Asabenza Nas. I cut it, I cut it. The Zulu method of cleaning the colon. Because when the colon is full of, uh, of waste, the pipe does not stand. Yeah. But the young people here who don't know these things. And Lalelan Matoda, get all the men that are here for the sake of health. Reduce your sugar. Reduce your salt a bit. And uh, reduce your oils. Increase bitter things. This baba, you go garlic, you go ginger, you go mang mang. Because after 40, guys, it's about health. Look after yourself. Hey, a glass of Coke, a glass of Coke. Too much Coke. It's a Kameli cartoon. You'll pee on your shoes. Funnily, do the mind fuga if we can cut a past, cut a past. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, Africa. Hi, one way, half past, half past twelve, half past twelve. Hey, Masalwan. Man, if you are before twelve years old, even twelve o'clock is allowed. Twelve o'clock is allowed, but uh, for men, cut a past is allowed also. But it's all about diet. It's all about diet. What we eat so that our blood and our muscle. I'm saying these things, my daughter, because there's nothing that destroys a man than a pipe that cannot come up. Amen. You are going to have a temper that you don't know. <laughs> and you want to fight with people. Meanwhile, the problem is between your legs. As is a man in Mikawa, my daughter, in Mikawa. Even if you can do 20 seconds. 20 seconds every day, just at the same spot, just to be healthy. Because the amount of fat that is just sitting here tends to destroy other things that are below the belt. And, and uh, when, when, Lesotho get, when, when South Africa gets, uh, gets bigger, Lesotho gets smaller. I am trying to say, Africa, amen. Amen. Because men, men cannot just be men with ties and jackets. Men must be men in the truest sense of the word. And I think we must be comfortable to become men. I want us to move to the left slightly so that I can collect this and become an, an Adventist preacher before you go home and say other things that are not related to what I'm saying. Plants, trees, we water. Fruits, we enjoy. Seeds, we preserve. And we plant them for the next generation. Here are people that you are not allowed to sleep with. The door that you came through. You don't touch. Huh? It's a no-go area. It's an abomination in Africa. Where your father came from. Just to see her nakedness is a curse. 
later on to sleep with her. Unacceptable. Your mother. No. Don't even listen to those Europe Europeans and Americans who swear and say motherfucker. No. We do not fuck mothers in Africa. Okay? We do not do that. As Africans. So, ukoko, no mama, and no go area. Seeds. Seeds that come out of you. No go area. Those are for another generation. No rape, please. Uncles, don't touch cousins and etc. Most dangerous group are relatives when it comes to children abuse. Children, no go area. Rape, it's a non starter. If you want to be a sinner, become a professional sinner. Don't become wicked and sinful at the same time. Good ikuku ya ifuna usio jengula foot. Then we are kula gempela. Ya ya tola kileka five rand, mega ten rand. Unga fagi deposit. I'm saying if you want to be a sinner, then be professional about it. Because very usus mister udi es hoko edi. You may not just go properly. I'm not saying prostitution is allowed, but I'm saying if you feel that you cannot control yourself, you would rather go to those that are willing. than raping those that still have a future to anticipate. If I find you, it will be easier to take a milestone. Anyone who causes these young ones to fall, it would have been easy to find a milestone, put it on their necks, and throw them in the sea where they can never be remembered. Why does God say that? Because when you destroy a young person, you have destroyed another generation. So I'm talking to many here. If it was your habit of touching small girls and etc., I may lap. Ngelu penduge, kukuge, nigezu mpefu mulu wago kutiko, ufune uyo isla lapo funyelu kusha kona. Since you're already a sinner, you may as well sin properly than becoming a source of destruction in the community. In conclusion, every man in his house must have a chair. Amen. I have to, I had to make myself one in my own house. Where is the organizer of this function? Mashudu, Mashudu Ravengan. Where is he? He cannot run away because he was busy giving me advices. Hey, I want you to be in your best of behavior today. What, what? Come and sit here. <laughs> Trying to become malume to me, you know. Come and sit here. I want to see your facial expression here. So that I know. Don't run away from me. Now, from here. From here, we can now record this for the GC. Amen. This is now kosher for the rest of the year. Every man must make a chair. And every man must sit on his chair. Executing judgment in his house. Avoid talking to your women and children while you are standing. They will never respect you. Start learning how to sit and talk. The Bible says, and Jesus sat down and he began to teach them. When you call your children to come to you and they find you seated, don't tell them to sit down. Just keep quiet until it rings a bell that they cannot talk to you while they are looking on your head. There is more power in silence than in words. There is no woman who has been beaten by a man who is sitting down. Teach your women to sit down when they talk to you. Avoid conversations while you are standing and pointing at each other. It results in violence. When a man is seated, the woman cannot help but sit also. And when children find daddy sitting on a chair, mommy sitting on a smaller chair, and then you call a child, they have to sit on the floor. There is order here. Go to, go to cash crusaders, go to pawn shops, go and look for a chair. 
a nice different chair that no children sit on. Nice chair and a small little table on the side. When you call for water, they must bring it here. When the results from school come, they must find you sitting here and say, now sit down, tell me, what did we do this term? Engage them meaningfully. Ezekiel chapter 1. And the spirit took me to the exiles by the river Kiba. And I saw the Lord high and lifted up. Isaiah chapter 6. But then I saw something that looked like a whirlwind wind coming from the north. And I saw something that looked like God sitting on a chair which had eyes all over and hands all over. It had the face of a man. It had a face of a lion. It had a face and the face of an ox. But where there was a man, there was also an eagle. There was also a lion. And there was also an ox. So was the other one, and the other, and the other. This is not a four-wheel drive. It's a 16-wheel drive. And then the Bible says, God moves without turning. Because in all directions, he is equally equipped with the face of a lion, a face of a man, a face of an ox, and a face of an eagle. So when prayers are coming from the east, and starts moving to the east, fully equipped, fully equipped, fully equipped, fully equipped. That's why the songwriter says, there is no shadow of turning. <laughs> God does not turn. He functions. Perfectly. And as Africans, we are the only group of people on the face of the earth who can appreciate that passage. Ask me why. Then we try to look like whites and it confuses us. Because the Bible says, he is the son of God, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Only Africans understand. But how? Pela Jesus, kiwa kamta u. Watengo, adem ta u nzia. Wako na boshumba lap. Wako na bonsi banda lap. Wako no banda lap. Wako no sibanda lap ekai. Then only Africans understand. For us to say actually, Jesus has a totem. Staka zelo zaga Jesus, nzaga shumba. But of course, you cannot undermine my surname, which is the Shoko. In the beginning was the word. Pakutanga, Shoko, Rangariripo. Let's go closely quickly. The face of a man speaks to wisdom, developing the apertures of thinking, cleaning up the corridors of thought, collecting correct information as a man. Don't work with old knots on a new syllabus. You cannot be writing a Zulu examination and copying mathematics answers. Your life is unique, it's different. Don't copy anybody else. Try and be yourself. The fingerprint of identity. Africans are not Europeans. Africans are Africans. We cannot be going to GC and we are only good for traditional dances. Then after that, yes, Suganike, Suganike, let's discuss the policies. And the one from Myanmar, they've gone shopping in town. Hey, hey, when you go to GC, sit down where issues are being discussed. Contribute to issues. You're not going on holiday. Use your mind. Develop your thoughts. His first totem is the totem of a human being. Human being, face of a man. And it's not a dead man. These creatures are all living. Alive. Four times wiser on his chair than a human being is. Now you can read Isaiah. My ways are not your ways. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so are my thoughts above your thoughts. God is four times, if we must use the illustration, four times wiser than what a man is like. 
on the east and on the west, on the north and on the south. God is equipped with all forms of wisdom. Number two, the face of a lion, territory, royalty. Mark your territory. A lion walks around the bush. Then after it is peed on a territory, then reproduction time. Urine for territory. Spam for reproduction. Do not use spam where you have not yet used urine. 